All right, guys, today I'm here with Nate Bauer, Nate Bauer Fitness. I'm gonna leave a link to his YouTube channel in the video description below. It's been a while since we did a collab, and today he's the perfect guy for this collaboration. We're gonna work on something you guys have been asking a lot about, and that is tactics for the outside fighter. So in this case, we got a clear outside fighter versus me, and we're gonna break some drills down to show you how to work that, things that you can do. The main thing for the outside fighter is maintain the distance, maintain the range, change the angle, change the angle moving laterally, and I'm gonna show you an easy drill and a few variations that you can work that one aspect of being an outside fighter. Okay, so the first thing that's going on here is that as the shorter fighter, I wanna close the distance. And when I close the distance, often, if I'm just gonna creep up to my distance, he can already hit me. So often I have to start closing my distance from a further outside position. So when I go in, I'm gonna be rushing and going in hard to get him. For the outside fighter, if you wanna offset what the inside fighter is doing, you have to move back with a similar type of footwork. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna dip and step back. So it's sort of gonna be like a dip and a drop. And that's just gonna start the movement going backwards. So I'm gonna show you that a few times just as you can work it as a drill. So we're here, so all I want you to do is just dip and step back. Good. And you can see as he dipped, he did a couple things, moved his body back to maintain the distance and dip to change the levels of his head just to make him a little bit harder to hit. If he wants a little bit extra safety, you can take this right glove and just cover the front and the left side of the face with it. So ready, here we go. There we are. Now I'm gonna go a little bit harder. Go. Very nice. Go. Now one thing I like about this is you see he's using gravity, give him a little bit of speed going back so that back foot and he dips and goes back so it's a little bit of gravity and a level change. So ready, go, good. Now there are a couple counters that he can work from this position. We're gonna get into how he can move back on angles with it. In this example he's only moving straight back but we're gonna get into some angles in a second. So one way he can counter as soon as that back foot lands, lands and the front foot is set, he's gonna counter with the check hook. So as I come back, as I pressure him, he's gonna step back and counter with the check hook. So you see he gets, he maintains the distance, get to his right position and works the check hook. Good. Now just to show you if I was to come in, so you're gonna just check hook me here. Get. See how that would work against a real opponent? I come short with my jab or he dips under and he checks me here. Let's go one more time. Good, and then he checks me there. So now another thing that he can do is to make it a little bit harder for the shorter fighters, when he steps off, instead of going straight back, he's gonna go out on an angle to the right. So even, depending on how well you guys can see this, just think that that back foot, instead of going straight back, it's gonna go a little bit to the back right. So let's work that here. Boom. Now you can see how he dipped off and created the angle going back. So not only is he dipping, maintaining the range, but also creating an angle and setting up the counter. So there's a lot going on for the outside fighter here. Ready? And a sweet left hook as well. Good. Now obviously after that he can add the right hand. Left hook, right hand, put in the power shot. Okay, so another way that he can work this, is a little bit harder depending on what you're comfortable with, is to work this back angle going this way. Sort of like a James Tony kind of style. So it's a dip and a little bit of a pivot going to the back left. I would say this is gonna work more for safety than counter punching, but you can still get it in there. So let's just work the dip a few times without the counter. And if you want extra safety, again, keep that right hand on the left side, because I can't hit him over here on the far side, he's turning away from me. Good. So now I'm moving back to the left, the back left as to the back right, gonna throw the left hook counter off of that. Boom. Left hook, add the right hand. Get your hand. Again. And one more time. 
good. Now another variation that can work as well, especially if you want to change multiple angles, is you counter with the right hand and then you throw the left hook and pivot on the hook. This is if you really want to zigzag, make it hard for your opponent to catch you. So in this case, you're going to move back, you're going to throw the right hand and then pivot on the left hook to change the angle again. All right, so he's going to step back to the right and set up the right hand counter as opposed to the left hook. Give me a nice dip with that. There. Give me a nice dip, clear some room. Boom. Now if he wants to change the angle, he's going to throw the right hand, pivot on the left hook. So great for outside fighters, want to land a great counter shot, but then still keep the angle and still keep moving. Give me the sideways look. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Nice. That, that's beautiful right there. All right, guys. So for outside fighters who've been asking, these are a few variations that you can work. You're doing a couple things here. First of all, the shorter fighter is often going to pressure you hard and quick. So you dip. Use gravity. Change the level of your head so that you can move back quick. Also, you can set up your guard, cover the front, use the shoulder, high guard, whatever you like to give yourself that safety. Second is you're changing the angle as well so that the shorter fighter who's coming in one direction has to adjust. And then you're going to counter on that angle while you maintain the distance. The added part of it, you can either counter left hook, right hand, or you go right hand, pivot on the hook, change the angle, and get out to safety. All right, so for you outside fighters, I hope that helps. And also again, for inside fighters, that's something to keep in mind and look for as you see yourself coming in so that you can adjust and change angles. Make sure to check out Nate Bauer's channel. He's got a ton of videos, combinations, techniques, tactics, workouts. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description below. All right, thanks for watching guys. Peace.